Okay, this is another special um, message and um, um, the energies the energies are so strong okay all right this message is for the next couple of days so I'm doing this on the 25th of September and I did say to you guys in the September reading go back and look at the general reading that this month of September is going to be a month of healing and it's definitely a month of healing because in the sky and um, if you listen to astrological alignments of energy the monthly energies you gotta check these things out okay because this is going to be telling you what is happening what is about to happen and what is coming up I'm doing this video before I do my monthly videos because it is very important that for the next two days uh, next eight days <laughs> for some of you the next two days uh, for some of you the next eight days uh, there is going to be a transition okay so um, let's get in this um, I have been um, expressing and giving you guys a lot of information and letting you know that things is about to shift on this planet it has been since 2012 2019 you guys the last three months of 2019 is going to be such enormous shift okay and this is why I named this video Saturn running with the dragon okay now what does that mean it's basically that Saturn and the dragon is fighting no in the universe there's stellum there's stars that's how you know um, what stars your rule under what star um, that was up when you were born and all of that but what is happening is very serious and a lot of people are not understanding that whatever happens in the cosmo affect us here on hurt we are all governed by the planets the alignments of the planets what is whatever is happening to the planets um, in the cosmo it affects you as a person now Capricorn has been having Saturn in their chart because Saturn governs the Capricorns okay that's why Capricorn people are like that if you notice the energy of the mountain mountain goat this is the reason why Capricorn people is like that but the situation and what is happening and transpiring is very important that you people understand this issue and this situation because it's going to affect um, uh, the Capricorns um, Venus is coming in so the Mars and the Librans uh, Mercury is happening so Gemini's and the Virgos you gotta stand strong okay it is as if um, the white and the, the, the light and the dark is has been going at it since 2012 and what is now transpiring is that it is just getting um it's just getting harder and harder because you're seeing all of these things that is happening is basically a lot of people are saying yeah the world is coming to an end it's the end of times and that sort of a thing and if you notice in your life and you experience this especially if you're Capricorns you're seeing all of these happening because you are fighting with the end with a dragon okay and uh, um, there is the big bear and there is the dragon in the cosmo okay so i'm breaking this down just in normal um i'm just breaking this down normally for you guys um because what is happening and what is transpiring is very important for us on this planet at this time and especially for light workers that we know what is happening and we understand it okay um so light workers are feeling this at this moment um it is it is 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 very a hard shift i felt mine in the month of august i saw it um display in front of me while traveling 
so I I was affected and I saw that and I realized what it was and I just stand back and let it go all right so Saturn is dancing with the dragon what does that mean and that means that extremely difficulties is going to be coming up and it's going to affect um, the, the the Capricorns because that's the ruler of Saturn and the Capricorns could be resolving these things it's as if the, 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 the Capricorns are taking down things organization situation that is not um, built on solid ground okay so there is going to be from now so we have the 25th to the 30th is five days and then five days into October so from today until the fifth day of October there is going to be and I'm gonna try and get this video up um, because you guys need to know and some people call it um, Saturn fighting with the dragon but I say Saturn is dancing with the dragon I just don't want the negative I just have to give people positive energy vibration it's really a huge fight in the stellium the tail of the dragon is in the north node so this is affecting this is like a hurricane whenever Saturn is fighting or um, dancing with another planet this means that a shift of energy there can be earthquakes disasters on the planet the shift of consciousness is going to be coming up so you know get ready for this because this is about to hit and we're leaving we're now in um, Leo and this is the Leo full moon that is coming up on the 28 28 and 29 of this month some of you are going to be feeling the shift there is going to be a huge shift and some of you are going to be feeling the shift for the light workers people your shift is going to be coming in on the 29 Virgos wake up it's just going to be a wake up event for the Virgos okay Virgos and Mer and, and uh, the Gemini's can have this uh, feelings of the shift of consciousness that is going to be coming in and it's just going to be hitting um, all of us okay um, okay I I I, I have seen this uh, um, and felt this before because I've been feeling it for the last two and a half years um, because I was in North America doing some research on something that was very deceptive so and, um, August was when I saw it was really Saturn and the dragon what has transpired so I have uh, um, my shift of consciousness I've gone through that and now it's as if whatever that was happening because the last two and a half years most of you know that I was in Florida and uh, leaving Florida that was when I got my tail line of it when I saw injustice deceptiveness that was happening okay so that's Saturn having the dance because uh, Saturn governs uh, um, discipline okay Saturn is a planet that govern discipline and it took me a month I, I, I went back home to Europe it took me a month to really wake up I was so astonished by what Estrin so it was it was like I was like people I need like two weeks to decompose, decompose myself and as a spiritual person I think seeing um, these these um, you know unbalanced people unbalanced situation unbalanced energies going on that is something that really blows you out of the water because for two and a half years what was happening basically um, me doing my research and trying to figure out what really was going on you know there was there was there, there was a dragon that was trying to slay me and I had to stand up strong so this is an example of what I'm giving you guys that you are about to be shook up and especially if Saturn is in your birth chart and Saturn is going in your birth chart a whole lot of people with Saturn in their birth chart at this time you're about to be shook up and I mean like shook up things are going to be coming out 
of the bundle and things are going to be happening um, things you're gonna be just blown away some of you might um, get depressed or just just get hit out of walk when you see things happening to you just injustice things so be aware and stand strong for the next um, couple of days until the 5th of October mercury is going in retrograde which is just going to be like a volcano um, you know the next couple of days is really just going to be like a volcano um, a hurricane and a storm at once ladies and gentlemen if you don't need to be in a confrontation with someone just back away stand away just let the but the, the pieces fall because this is going to be hitting a lot of us and uh, it's going to begin with the Capricorn because um, Saturn is fighting with the dragon Saturn is discipline Saturn is honesty um, discipline um, and Saturn is fighting with the dragon so if you're a Capricorn you're going to be feeling the shift you know whether or not you're spiritual non-spiritual you're going to be feeling the shift then we're looking at uh, um, you know because the head of the dragon went back to the north node and that is his house you know the head of the dragon went back to the north house and that is his house and what is transpiring is that he's going home and this is like you know welcome home but it's like feeling good being home so you know wherever your north node is and whatever planets are going through there if it's Saturn you're gonna be feeling this and this is going to be until now and the 5th of October it's going to be really really feeling it and you know my guys and angels are saying you need to do more of these breaking down because if you don't understand astrolog then you can't um, understand the readings that they're given but I can I always know how to break it down so that people can understand and feel now mercury 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 so what is happening and what is transpiring is that mercury governs the Gemini's and the um, Virgos mercury governs the Gemini's and the Virgos so what is happening and what is transpiring at this moment is that with mercury mercury is about communication mercury is about manifestation mercury is you know name it Mercury is just this planet that turn um, silver it's quitsand so people like have these quitsand moments okay so you Gemini get ready you Virgos get ready the Virgos are going to be and this is a beautiful thing Gemini's are going to be awakening to their spiritualities um, if they weren't awake and uh, the Virgos what is going to be happening and transpiring for the Virgos is that on the 28th you Virgos are going to be bringing in spirituality is the birth of spirituality you Virgos are going to be awakened so if you're in a relationship with a Virgo ex and and you know like you have um, connect with a Virgo the night before you are going to be feeling this energy the next morning because the Virgos are bringing in and awakening the spirituality of people at this moment for these 10 days and trust me from now until the end of this year going into 2020 you are going to be feeling the rush of energies ladies and gentlemen so be aware of this okay so that was mercury mercury ruled the gemini's and the virgos okay as we move on saturn capricorn back up back up back up back up stand away from all deceptiveness let it flow you stand away but if you have to and this is it if you have to do anything with Capricorns they are going to be standing up and using the sword of truth to cut you all BS so people be aware of the Capricorns because the Capricorns is fighting with the dragon at this moment and for the next couple of days until the 5th of October 
Cap uh, Capricorn people are just going to bring in back injustice and equality, taking down its, um, deceptive situation, organization, bringing back discipline in the house, in the home. You know, Capricorns is going to be on the ball. So it's going to be affecting some Capricorns, and it depends. If you're a positive Capricorns, um, you're going to be having people that is hating on you. If you're a negative Capricorns, you're going to be using the sword of truth to cut through. So it's going to affect people in different ways. Okay. Then as we look at Venus, Venus is um, rules the the Tauruses, um, organization, institutes, a corporation. That is Venus. Okay, Taurus. So what is going to be happening to Venus um, and the Tauruses organization are going to be falling that is not um, built on strong foundation. So again, ladies and gentlemen, if you have built your organization and it's not built on strong foundation, this is going to be taken down because Saturn is coming in and Saturn is all about honesty, discipline. Okay, so if you have had shady deals, shady business, shady organization, this is what is going to be happening. It's as if Saturn is going to be coming in and say, you got to rebuild. You got to rebuild. We're taking the shit down. You got to rebuild. So come on, get ready because rebuilding is going to be what is going to be happening. So get ready for these couple of days and it's not it's just like the beginning of what is supposed to be coming so um it's going to affect you guys at this moment this 10 days because i really need to do this video earlier but i got um i'm running like i have ten thousand feet at this moment and um i needed a break because of some ish uh, yeah it, i needed a break because my um, discipline Saturn in August when traveling that hits me so much that I needed like two weeks just just two weeks out and that is going to be happening to a lot of you and it's going to be things that affect you in your life when strangers just become very horrible to, I, I, um, you know um, and and do deceptive things and you just stand there and I'm telling you ladies and gentlemen it is better not to get involved but just stand back whenever it's going too far then you hold your hands up and said hey it's enough okay and walked away because uh, um, you know just just traveling and it was on the full moon <laughs> So I was traveling on the full moon, the 15th of August, and that was when the most deceptive situation has ever happened. And that was my moment um, with Saturn coming through my birth chart because Saturn has been retrograding for um, in my birth chart. So when we know, and this is what I said to a lot of people, you got to find out what is happening because some people say like, Things are happening. Everything is just falling apart. That's when Saturn is going to your birth chart. Okay, I'm ruled by Saturn, so this is why I have to make sure that I balance my life in such a way, and 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 that's what happened. Now, as we look at Venus, Venus rules corporation, institutes, organization. Um, um, and 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 Venus is taking down and breaking down. An ending um, situation with organization that is not built on positive energy. Okay, so um, expect that the Tauruses are going to be standing up. Tauruses is going to be feeling this energy also because Venus will rules the Tauruses and the Librans. Now, Saturn with the um, Saturn is bringing back discipline in just like everybody's life because Saturn wants um, and is fighting with the dragon. So Saturn is like bringing back discipline to everybody's life. It's like bringing things back on track. Okay, and when you're, you know, you are, and it depends on really where these planetary system like Venus because it is the debt of the ending of deceptiveness. 
and the new beginning where Venus and that's this is why the Tauruses and the Librans are coming in to bring back that love and the thing about it why I just so love the Librans is that the Librans rule justice and equality but also have love and that is very good and this is what it is you can be powerful but powerful in a very um, in a loving way and I think that that is what is going to be coming back and a lot of liberals are going to be teaching people how to balance being powerful but being powerful in a, a very loving way okay so get ready ladies and gentlemen for the rest of uh, the Aquarians you guys are really gonna feel it because um, Saturn is bringing back discipline in your world especially for the Aquarians um, so if you're a Capricorn person you're dealing with an Aquarian person it's gonna be like off because you know the Aquarian share the 10 house with you sometimes it depends on what is happening and this is all about Saturn ruling Capricorns and uh, um, Uranus um, ruling um, Aquarians so that is going to be like a, a, a bash okay the rest of the signs is really going to be feeling it because it's all about discipline it's all about um, slaying the beasts and Saturn is fighting with the dragon and and and, and that's what's happening so um, Capricorns are going to be finding themselves in issue in situations that you're thinking who are these people what is happening it is you bringing back discipline in situation because if you're vibrating on a positive energy Capricorn this is going to be good for you okay Saturn is going to defeat the dragon so there is going to be a lot of oppressions okay so um, you're gonna be um, you're gonna be seeing um, company institutes the organization um, being on the fire okay because that is Saturn is discipline Saturn is organization discipline rebuilding on strong foundation but yet still healthy foundations okay um, the prophecy and um, um, for the people who are prophecy and you know who you are I don't have to say who you are um, there is an handful of us on the planet okay really a handful of us on the planet um, this is going to be a powerful period for you so get ready get ready get ready because um, your prophecy is, is as if they're removing whatever that was blocking you they're like taking down whatever if you were um, if you were they're, they're moving it and you are going to be after this moment the 28th and 29th the prophecies on this planet information is going to be coming out as if they're reading a book okay prophecies are only a handful okay all right and for the people who wants to know who are the prophecy on this planet then you gotta look up look it up in the birthday books okay I can't give you guys so all the information you gotta you gotta learn to go look up information birth of spiritual masters are going to be coming up spiritual masters or light workers people like myself um, and um, new people are going to be awakening and the birth of spiritual masters or um, anyone that was that is that gets pregnant on the 28 and 29 if you want to have a spiritual baby Hit it. Hit it 28 and 29 because that's a spiritual baby. So if you get pregnant on the 28 and 29, this baby is going to be a spiritual master that is going to be coming in on this planet um, to elevate um, the energies. Okay. And spiritual doesn't mean that it is a Christian or whatever. Spiritual means that this person is coming in with peace and love to teach humanity how to get along okay it's all about bringing back peace and love to this planet and so if you get pregnant on the 28th or 29th expect that this baby is going to be a baby of enlightenment okay Virgos wow I love this for you guys I really love this for you Virgos um, if you guys realize what is happening and what is transpiring is that all earth sign people are being affected and this is what I've been teaching you guys for such a long time is that 
earth sign people govern this planet okay so if you're an earth sign person your energy vibration affects this planet a whole lot and your energy vibration affects a whole lot of planets and if we go back and look at the tools that we got to understand situation and things Taurus is, is ruled by the hierophant okay Taurus is, is ruled by the hierophant the Virgos are ruled by balancing okay so the heart needs balance okay the heart is vibrating on the exit and it needs balance so everything needs to be balanced in your life and as we look at the Capricorn that's the Capricorn is the Empress very loving and uh, it is the energy of the heart which it hands things and give you new beginnings which is Saturn and Saturn is governed by the heart so if we want to understand what is happening and who we are and what is about to transpire because trust me ladies and gentlemen the last two and a half years I have seen the darkness and the light okay <laughs> trust me the last two and a half years I've seen the darkness and the light and uh, I really have my Saturn with the dragon for the last two and a half years and then um, now you're seeing that you know it's teaching you to choose love and choose spirituality and because of that that's how I got through my um, energy vibration where I could really 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 balance out and stand strong against all the hurricanes tornadoes that comes at me um, there, it, it was like the thunders roll okay so that is what you know if you come out of this period um, you know God bless seriously God bless because it has been um, I mean I'm I'm a very strong person but what I experienced in um, August was like off the chart I was like whoa okay so ladies and gentlemen stand strong I love you all the monthly readings are going to be coming up um, love and light namaste